Hey guys, it's the Campbell again and welcome back to our coaster. This time the third episode already of um, the yeah, hyper coaster layout and um, yeah, well before we go into the real time section I just want to drop in uh, a little bit of the you know um, time lapse footage. I don't know how quick I did it this time um, in terms of how, how much I speed it up, but I just want to to give you the time lapse again. What I did, it's it's basically about smoothing and and shaping the end of the track a little bit more. Um, how you supposed or how you just told me in the comments in the last episode, and yeah. So I don't think I do have to talk too much about it. So um, yeah, just let's enjoy the little bit of time lapse and then see you again in the real time section.
Alright guys, here we are in the real-time section and as you can clearly tell from uh, the view right now um, it isn't the r finished version in terms of uh, the station building and you know stuff like that but it is the finished version in terms of the layout. And now let's go a little bit more into detail. Um, I know that there might be a few flaws about this layout still, um, but I just decided this time I won't do another one like I did with the inverted coaster. This time we definitely want to have this one and I just quickly turn off the hut to have a nicer view of it. Um, this time I just um, f finish it up over here and I will do then um, the final video of this one and also release it to the workshop then with the first video as we did it with the very first one as well and yeah so I have to say before we go into a verdict or something like that I have to say I'm pretty happy with the layout in the end I am happy with how the entire you know pacing of the coaster is and there are a few things I have to do before I release the POV so uh, some small issues I still have but I, I just don't want to cover them over here so first thing I did is I um, changed as you might have seen already in the time-lapse um, I put the brakes over here so there are a few problems about this the first thing is that this is way too long but I just can't do it because you are forced to use an 8 meter piece um, although I want to say 2 meter would be basically enough and I would have loved to also use a friction brake or something like that but you just can use it on a straight piece like on um, completely straight and not banked and yeah it's it's not banked but it's not straight so I just couldn't use it over here and so I should have put it over here but it's just not possible so I needed a break anyways and that's why it's over here so I also changed the shaping a little bit according to your continuous uh, comments over this um, then I I don't know if this is on the um, I'm, I'm not too sure if I covered it in the time-lapse but those two elements might just look a little bit um, yeah same like they were in the last episode but I rebuilt them entirely and I think it paid off because the shaping of those two are now really really much better than last time so um, I I know that we can't bank it up more than 90 degrees over here so this is why it looks like this but if you can see uh, right now how the coaster go through it it's way smoother than it has been before and I think the overall shape of those elements is just a lot more to what it should be in, in, in terms of a real world coaster and then again I also did it with this one over here it might be a little bit you know toward the end it might be a little bit too thin in the middle over here but this it's basically because we do have the crossover here and we don't go back straight next to it like it would go usually at least that's what I can tell from most elements I have seen in other coasters um, but anyway since we want to go over here to the right hand side it's just as it is and then we do have this piece over here I also rebuild it completely that might be also the only space of the coaster I actually don't like at all, um, but I, you know, I just don't have any idea how to change it. In terms of smoothness, in terms of how the coaster behaves uh, going up to this next airtime hill over here, it's pretty fine. I'm kind of happy with it, but to me this turn at least looks a little bit awkward, but um, yeah. So I don't want to worry too much about it because it's still kind of okay, but yeah. So then we go on over here. I, I just thought if, if we might have a little bit more banking over here. I've seen a few more hypercoasters BNM style that did this going up to a 90 degrees banking on top of the airtime hill. So we might want to do it, although I'm wondering, I mean, then we we kind of you know we just get rid of the airtime we might get over here if we bank it too much um, but I'm not too much of an expert in terms of how the forces behave but I guess um, the more you bank it the less the airtime would pump in because the airtime should you know lift up your body and this might happen or just just works the best if you do have um, this the track straightened up because then your body can be lifted like completely straight so I, I just don't know in terms of airtime that might be a sacrifice but in the end it might be also a cool element to have this one going up and and turn 90 degrees and then go back straight down to this element over here into the mid course break run over here which I um, I just slightly reduce the braking effect so it um, re yeah just leaves the mid run brake quite a lot quicker than before this is also according to your comments I might just 
maybe give it a little bit more speed still, but I'm not too sure about it. But then we go down here with this little bit, um, yeah, of nice, nice kind of left-handed, um, yeah, a little bit closer to the ground um, element over here. But also um, here it was somehow possible to use this friction brake over here. I think it's it's until a certain um, point of steepness that you can use this friction brake as um, element. But as you can see, this works way better than the other. Um, uh, sorry, that is that a friction brake? Ah, uh, yeah, that's the friction brake, and over there we use trim brake. Um, but it just works way better than the uh, trim brake does. But anyways, so we go up to another nice airtime hill over here. And then we go back into a new element, which I also did according to the comments. I still wasn't happy with how the end of the coaster looked like last time. Um, so I just skipped through a few comments uh, within the last episodes and I found that the idea of putting in another helix just works fine. And I guess by now it is kind of nice because it is, you know, it's... I do understand the point and some people mentioned that as well that even though it is a hyper coaster, it still turned out really widespread and really big and it might just not sit on the lakeside but on the on the edge of a park but um, you know it, it's just okay I, I, I do certainly understand this point and it might be the truth but I just won't put it anywhere else because I just wanted to have it here and I will build some stuff around it so you know, it might block then the view, but other than that, it could be also the weenie of the park. So, yeah, not too much talk about this. So, let, let's just keep it where it is. But anyways, I just like that this element kind of makes this uh, resemble this element on the other side. So that we have kind of, you know, this little um, bracket to, to kind of round up the entire coaster. It's still a little bit big, but it's a hyper coaster, so it needs to be big, I guess. And um, I, I still think that this is a good coaster in the end. It might not be a perfect real life example, but that's not what we aimed for with this series. I'm not gonna talk too much about it again because I think that most people are already a little bit annoyed by this, so let's just keep it as it is. Um, I think it's a pretty decent hyper coaster with, um, with a lot of, you know, really, really standardish elements, but also with some new stuff which I just messed around with a little bit and yeah, that's it. So next thing I changed after this one, I just wanted to pump in also according to the comments, uh, a nice last, um, you know, little airtime hill. I don't know if you get any airtime out of it. I, th I think from the, from the values at least, there is kind of a little bit of airtime, but not too much. And then we go back into the break run, which I like quite a lot now. Uh, I didn't like it before, but I also used this really helpful comment to raise up the station a little bit. I should have known that because it's basically in every tutorial Sylph does. It's like, let's raise up the station slightly. <laughs> Anyways, just, um, yeah, I just raised it up a little bit. So that also turned out to um, give me the opportunity to get rid of those ugly push tires over here. So we now have the coaster just going slightly down before the lift hill. I, st I still think that this is a little bit too hard of an, you know, um, element going into the lift hill. I would love to have it a little bit more smoother, but it doesn't work with the smoothing tool. So I would have um, need to build it by hand, but I'm really not sure if that isn't real life. I mean, like, maybe it is like this. I, I should have had a look, but anyways. Um, but yeah, so that's the layout. Um, we are not gonna have a POV right now, as you might tell from the last uh, Our Coaster series. It's always, you know, the first to give you um, a little bit of a POV to see how we began. Then we do have the big overhaul of the coaster, and then afterwards we do have the final video with also cinematic stuff and the POV in there. I just think it fits more. It gives you a little bit more of the experience. You know, you just get a little bit of nice views of the coaster in general. So I just don't want to give you an unfinished ride experience. That kind of, you know, wouldn't pay off to the work we s just put into it. And that's kind of it. But what we do have now, we might just want to have a little bit of an off ride. And sorry, there are some lags because I'm pretty sure that um, there was save, uh, the auto save in the background. Uh, anyways, 
I also wanted to say, and we now follow the coaster until it's up to the uh, lift hill. I'm just going quickly to speed up the game as well. I just want to tell sorry for my voice if it is a little bit rough or so, uh, because I still <laughs> suffer. Uh, suffer might not be the right word, but last weekend I've been partying the whole weekend in Hamburg with my agency, and I I still feel a little bit. <laughs> knocked um, a little bit knocked out from this weekend it was a lot of fun uh, but still my voice is suffering but anyways so yeah here we go into this nice turning element so we do have as most of the hypercoasters are this like in and out layout and um, we do have now a little bit of a different element because this element is not just one turnaround element um, it's yeah just made out of two different ones and I think I, I do like it. It's not that common, but I, I do like it, I have to say. So then we go into the second part of this coaster, which is effectively a little bit shorter, but we do have some nice airtime over here. As I said, I could maybe get a little bit more speed in from the mid-course break run, so to just make it a little bit more quick throughout these parts over here, because from the off right at least, it feels a little bit slow, but I might just maybe have the wrong um, feeling about it because not having the on right now at hand I can't tell if that's the truth or not but I I think we can squeeze some more airtime out of this element over here and also get some more nice forces out, to, out of this helix um, because we still have a lot of you know space left with this uh, break run over here so that we, we can just have a little bit more um, pace in the in the coaster to to get it bro uh, break down what yeah break down <laughs> so um, I also I just wanted to say quickly sorry because last episode I was it last I think it was last episode I was talking too much about potential energy and stuff like that I completely mixed it up because like potential energy is basically the energy we have at the highest peak and when we release it it turns into kinetic energy which I wanted to tell so there's a lot of kinetic energy we have to you know just make into potential energy back again so that's what the break does then um, but yeah so I completely mixed up stuff there so I just um, if anybody of you just took this as you know fact just forget about it because that was totally wrong uh, but any anyways I just wanted to say that so let's end off this video with a nice overview of the entire loud there we go I have to say it's still yeah it's pretty big um, I could have just ended it over here you know just with some other elements over there and just go back to the station to make it a normal one but I feel like it's kind of cool like it is Anyways, guys, I hope you like this coaster at the end, um, and now it's time to, yeah, decide which coaster we good, uh, should go for next. Just drop it down into the comments, we've had the, and now let's keep a little bit of a look onto it, I don't want to show you too much of the inverted one, because I'm not happy with the result right now. I still have to do it, and you get it, guys, but not yet. Um, we, we had this... Um, a suspended coaster, the aerodynamic suspended coaster, and we had a pretty much a standardish BNM invert, which we had a lot of discussions about. And I feel like most of the people are not happy with the result, but I think we have to get over it, and I will somehow release the POV of it sometimes. So might not be too much uh, of time, what you have to wait for it, but. Um, I'm focusing on other projects at the moment, so you will get it, but I don't know when. Um, but yeah, so that should, be, should it be for this episode. Just tell me what you want to see next as a coaster, uh, coaster type. And yeah, just drop down every feedback you have as always. And um, tell me what I could improve if you have any suggestions. Just put them down. And yeah, still thank you guys for watching. And see you then in the next episode. Bye bye.